No! 69 subscribers, I missed it! But honestly, thank you guys so much. You guys are totally killing it. That big one hundo is creeping up fast. No, but thank you guys for subscribing, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, so today I went to Barnes & Noble, which if you're like me, is a pretty dangerous place to be. Of course, I found myself in the manga section, and I just couldn't help myself. I've got no self-control. Please, somebody help me. But as I was just lightly browsing, a series caught my eye. Just this morning, I was watching another manga tuber's video, The Prom G, and he had mentioned a series called Gigant. At least I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. He spoke very highly of it, and I have seen it in a bunch of other people's collections, so I decided to give it a try. So this right here is Gigant by Hiroya Oku, who is the creator of Gantz, another series that is really high on my wish list. I don't know if I'm going to be reading Gantz anytime soon. The omnibuses that are currently being released might not even be released. They're releasing so slow. And if I ever wanted to get the singles, since they're so severely out of print, I'd have to spend thousands of dollars on them. I think it'd be cheaper to buy a Rosetta Stone and learn Japanese and then buy the whole series in Japanese than it would be just to buy the singles in English. So I picked up Gigant today. In English, there's currently two volumes released. Here's the second volume. And because these volumes are so short, I was able to read them very quickly today. So what are my thoughts on Gigant? And should you also read Gigant? Well, that's a bit of a difficult question. Okay, so first off, what is it about? That's another difficult question. <laughs> Gigant is possibly the weirdest thing I've ever read. I'm very confused by it. I don't really know what to think. I'll say this, it's definitely not for everybody. So from what I've read, just the first two volumes, it's about this kid whose name eludes me. Okay, his name is Ray, R-E-I Ray. So Ray's a high school student who really wants to become a filmmaker. He's a big fan of the film industry. And he's also a big fan of a specific actress who happens to be in the adult entertainment industry. By the way, this manga is not for kids. <laughs> if you're a child, avert thine eyes. You shall not partake. So our boy Ray is walking around town and he just so happens to discover that said actress whose name is, oh boy, I can't remember these names. Okay, her stage name is Papiko, so we'll just go with that. So it just so happens that actress Papiko lives in the same neighborhood as our boy Ray. So this girl right here with the pink hair, that's Papiko. I gotta stop calling her that, what's her real name? <laughs> okay, so her name's Chiho. This is Chiho, this is the actress. Now Chiho's walking around town. Okay, this is kind of getting into light spoiler territory. I don't know, it's the first volume, so it's not really a spoiler. You can read it on the back of the book. Basically. Chio runs into the strange guy who's been running around town and he manages to put this watch-like device on her wrist. And no matter what she does, she can't take it off. Later, she finds out that she now has the power or the ability, thanks to this watch, to become ginormous. Freaking huge. <laughs> it sounds like I just described Ben 10. So that's basically the premise. And I knew that much going into the series. It really subverted my expectations. Honestly, the plot's kind of all over the place. I guess these first two volumes were just kind of introductions to the characters trying to get to know them. But speaking of the characters, None of them are likable. I guess the most likable character is Chio, but I think the only reason that is is because she's friendly to the main character. She's very easily manipulated. You can tell by reading that she's kind of a pushover. Everyone in her life just kind of manipulates her and she's just okay with that. Ray, the main character though, isn't any better. I guess his most redeeming quality is that he's into the film industry, which I can relate to. I love movies. Wait, there's actually a panel in here. The guy has a Blade Runner movie poster in his room, but it doesn't say Blade Runner Harrison Ford. It says like, okay, so it's Blade Runners by Hudson Ford. But yeah, so he likes movies and that's kind of like the only redeeming thing about him. Other than that, he's kind of lame, honestly. There's nothing really particularly special about him. Actually, I'd go as far as to say that the main character is unlikable. There's one scene in particular that comes to mind. Again, this is a little bit spoilery. Not really, though. So spoiler warning, I guess. Our boy Ray decides to ask Chiho to be his girlfriend, and she tells him no, because she likes the relationship. She just wants to stay as friends. This guy starts just wailing, screaming and yelling in public, making a scene like they're at a restaurant or something. And then Chiho I was like, oh, okay, stop crying. Sure, yeah, we can date. It's like, what? She just said no, and then he started making a scene, and now she says yes? That just makes me think that Ray is manipulative, just like everybody else in her life. Also, he's whiny. Now, if there's one thing I hate about characters and anything, it's when they're whiny. I can't stand that. But anyways, as far as other characters go, everyone else is basically abusive and not friendly to anybody. Honestly, I can't think of a single good character in the manga, though. That being said, the story, while being all over the place, it's pretty interesting. There's elements of sci-fi, aliens, time travel. There's lots of mystery, like what the heck is going on. So I'd say I am interested in reading more to find out what happens next. These volumes are really small and they're really short. I think it took me like maybe 30 minutes tops to read both of them. So in conclusion, the story is interesting and I'll probably end up reading more, but I'll say this, it's not for everybody and it's super weird. So if you're into that, go ahead, give Gigant a try. I don't really know. Have you guys read Gigant? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of the story. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. I upload videos every Monday and Friday. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified every time I upload a video. All right, that's it for me. I'm Ryan and bye.